All right, guys, welcome to J4, Division with Decimal Quotients and Rounding. So with decimal numbers, okay, we are, sometimes you're going to get strings of numbers that just keep going and going and going. So it's important when you're working with decimal numbers to understand how to round your answer. So in this case, we're going to round to the nearest tenth, okay? The nearest tenth. So we're going to take 9 divided by 7, and we're going to round it to the nearest tenth. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we've got 9 divided by 7. Oop, that looks a little sloppy there. So we've got 7 here on the outside, 9 on the inside. Okay, 9 divided by 7. Now, how many times does 7 go into 9? I know that's once, right? So 7 times 1 is 7. Then I subtract, 9 minus 7 is 2. Uh-oh, I don't have anything else here. Well, what do we do? Mr. Voigt, I know that when I have a number, like 2, that would be a remainder because it's less than our div divisor, then I need a decimal, okay? So we're just going to put a decimal point here to the right of the 9, and we're also going to put one up top to the right of the 1. Because now all the numbers after this are a number less than 1. Just like 2 is a number less than 7, all the numbers to the right of the decimal point are numbers less than 1. Okay, this is the tenths place, and then hundredths, thousandths, and so on. Okay, so we now have a decimal. Once you have a decimal there, well, we don't have anything to bring down. What we need to do is we need to put a 0. Okay, so you just put a 0 there. Right, because nothing is there. Zero is nothing. You need a number, so we put zero to hold that place. We can bring zero down, and then we get 20. Okay, so we divided. Nine divided by seven, one. We multiplied. One times seven is seven. Right, and then we subtracted. We got two, and then we brought down the zero, which we had to put there. Now we have 20. This is our new dividend, and we have to divide again. 20 divided by seven. How many groups of 7 go into 20? Well, I know 3 times 7 is 21, so 2 groups of 7 go into 21. 2 times 7 is 14, that's what I'm going to subtract. And 20 minus 14 is 6. Okay, now I think we need to keep going, right? So we need to bring down the next number. So I'm going to extend my little roof here. And now we're in the hundredths place, and we're going to bring down a zero. You notice that you can just keep putting a zero there if you need it, and you can just bring it down. Okay, so at this point, if this keeps going, we're always just going to put a zero and then bring it down a zero. All right, now we've got 60. How many times does 7 go into 60? I immediately think mental math. Okay, 7 times 10 is 70. So 7 times... 9 is 63, so this has to be 7 times 8. So you can work backwards sometimes. 7 times 8 is 56. 5, 6, 7, 8. 56. And we're going to subtract. 60 minus 56 is 4. Okay, I don't have another number to bring down. What do we do? Mr. Voigt, we can just put a 0 there. You are so correct. So we're going to bring down that 0. And now we've got 40. Notice that we started with 20, then 60, and now 40. Okay, so now we're at 40. How many groups of 7 go into 40? Well, 7 times 5 is 35. So 7 times 6 is 42. So that's going to be a 5. 7 times 5 is 35. Oh, this is one of those fun numbers where it just keeps going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Okay, so... You notice how decimal numbers are kind of fun and crazy this way, how they just keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and sometimes they don't even end, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so, our question asked us to round our answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so two is in the tenths place, right? Tenths, tenths, hundredths. Right? Thousandths. Thousandths. This would be ten thousandths. Hundred thousandths. Millionths. Okay. Uh, you're going to look 
to round, look to the number to the right of the number you're rounding for. So we're rounding to the nearest tenth. So what does the eight tell us? Well, the eight rounds up, right? So this is going to be 1.3, or this number, 1.285, is really close to, or approximately, 1.3. And we round just because it's easier to say, yeah, it's pretty much 1.3. It's f really close. Okay, 1.3 is what we're going to put in. Bingo, bingo. Okay, next one. What? 1 divided by 4? Okay, so let's see what we get here. 1 divided by 4. Alrighty. Well... How many times does 4 go into 1? 0. 0 times 4. 0. Subtract. 1 minus 0. 1. Oh, we're done, right? We have a remainder of 1. No. What are we going to do? You need a decimal point. Okay? We're going to put a decimal point now. Because we're dealing with a number less than 1. Or f 1 is less than 4. Okay? So in this case... You're now dealing with a number less than one, so you need a decimal point. All right. We know that. We need to bring a number down. If there's not a number there, you get to put one there. Okay, now we can bring that zero down. Now we have ten. How many groups of four go into ten? Two. Two times four. Eight. Subtract. Ten minus eight. Two. Then we need another number to bring down. We put it there ourselves. Now we bring down that zero. Now we've got 20. 4 into 20, 5. Oh, this one was actually nice. 5 times 4 is 20. That one worked out, 0.25. But this is asking us to round to the nearest tenth. So 2 is in the tenths place. 5 is in the hundredths place. So does 5 round up or does it round down? You are correct, it rounds up. So this is really gonna round to 3 tenths, or it's approximately 0 0.3. Now if you saw, like I did, that this was one divided by four, well I know one fourth, one divided by four is 0.25. So I knew that right off the top of my head. Um, so if you know those types of things, mental math, you know, one divided by four is really one fourth, right? I'll just write that right here. That's one divided by four. Well, one divided by four equals 0.25, right? Okay, round to three, Point three. Oh, I excel. All right, here we go. 993 divided by nine? What, are you out of your mind? 993 in the garage divided by 9. Here we go. 9 into 9. That goes once. You can also, I'm just going to do this right now. I mean, I think it's good to get in the habit of just doing the first number one at a time. But if you see that 9 can go into 99, you can do that, all right? And just do an 11, okay? So I'm just going to show you if you haven't caught on to that or if you've been thinking of that. Can I do that? Yes, you can. Okay, so if you see that 9 goes into 99 11 times, put 11 up there and just get to it, okay? 11 times 9 is 99. Then we get 0. Bring down the 3. 9 go into 3? No. 3 is a number less than 9. So what do we have to do? Oh, we're dealing with numbers less than 1 now. So... Oh, hold on a second. We do have a place value we haven't dealt with yet. So what we need to do in this case is 9 doesn't go into 3, so we have to put a 0 there, okay? This is the one part that's a little tricky, I feel like. I'm still figuring out how to teach that better or, you know, to improve the way that I explain that. I don't have a great way to explain that. But if you notice that there's a place value that you haven't accounted for yet, and instead of saying three-ninths, we can't put three-ninths here, right? Or one-third, for example. It has to be a number. So 
if you can't divide, right, for example, 9 does not go into 3, then you get a 0, okay? Because you're, you're just kind of estimating anyway as far as, like, if this was um, a number greater than 9, how many, t how many times does that number go into another number? So 9 doesn't go into 3, so it goes into 3 0 times, okay? You have to put that there. Okay, so let's continue then. Uh, 0 times 9 is 0, then we get 3, okay, now we can bring down a number in the tenths place, which would be a 0, and you get 30, 9 goes into 30 three times, so now we have 3 in the tenths place, 3 times 9 is 27, Subtract, you get 3. And now it's just the matter of bringing down zeros every time you need one. Oh, 30. Notice this was 30. Now we got 30 again. 9 into 30, 3. Do you think this is going to keep happening? I have a feeling. 27. Isn't this so cool how you just get this, like, loop? We're just now we're in the, in the loop here. 30. Yep, we're in the loop. So 9 goes into 30 three times. 3 times 9 is 27. Add infinitum, as they say. What do they mean by that? Infinity. All right, so we're rounding to the nearest tenth. So this is our tenths place, right? That's the tenths place. So we need to take this number 3 and round it. This is going to round down. Rounds down to 0. So this is 110 approximately 110.3 or 110 and three tenths notice how this is the tenths place and you have three there so you say three tenths okay 110.3 one oh did i do that right yep 110 point nope yep 110.3 you guys get to hear all my inner thoughts this is mr voigt's brain Okay, here we go. One more, and then we're done for today, and I'm going to let you guys continue on your own journey. 986. 986 divided by 8. The Ocho. Here we go. All right, getting a little shaky hand here. Hold on. Okay. 8 goes into 9. That's once, right? Now, if you know how many times 8 can go into 98, you could put that number here. But I'm just going to go single digit right now. So 8 into 9 once. That's the divide. Multiply. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. Bring down. <clears throat> we get 18. 18 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 8, 16. 18 minus 16, 2. Bring down the 6, 6. 26 divided by 8, 4. 4 times 8, 24. Subtract, 26 t minus 24, 2. Oh, now we, we're at a point where we would have a remainder. We have a number less than 2, and we've used up all of our place values. So what do we know? What do we know? Well, we know that. This is a number, this is going to be a number less than 1. So we need a decimal point, okay? Because we're going to now create and get into the realm of numbers less than 1. So we need to put a 0 in the tenths place because we need something to bring down. We're going to bring down that 0. Now we got 20. 20 divided by 8 is 2. Put it up top. 2 times 8, 16. Subtract. You get 4. Put a zero in a hundredths place. You can just keep putting zeros. Remember that. Bring the zero down. 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. Ooh, isn't that nice? And it works out evenly. Love that. Okay. 0.25, but this is asking for nearest tenth. So the 5 is the number that we need to round. Up or down, 5 goes up. So this is approximately 124. Point three. Is that five rounds up? One twenty-four point three. One two four 
0.3. Boom. Oh, what? The, oh, I put 123. Okay. Sorry, I was rushing. Well, it was 124.25. 124.3 is our answer. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it, folks. Enjoy the rest of your day. Adios.